Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Dumb by TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy Go About Short. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, real talk. Man, those smackers out there in the streets, man. They rocking out right now behind that boy, uh, Young Dolph. And anybody that don't understand what I'm talking about, well, there was another person that got murdered earlier this morning, man. They said it had something to do with the beef, but we don't know who the person is yet. But allegedly, it might be somebody down with CMG. You know what I'm saying? One of their close affiliates. But it's been a lot of rumors, a lot of speculation. We gonna figure out, you know what I'm saying, who really has something to do with this murder. Because, you know, Makita's uh, cookie shop employee, you know what I'm saying? He's speaking out, saying, hey, man, with some other stuff going on, some funny business that was going on in the shop. And just the other day, I just seen Raven go to a, a, a local store, and she was talking to somebody, and they say they seen everything, too. And it's another cat. He said he was standing in the middle of the road when all the shots start uh, going off. And you know what I'm saying? He heard it was Young Dolph, and he didn't know that if it was real Dolph or just a street cat named Dolph. You know what I'm saying? And he trying to say he don't think it was straight drop because Memphis will just tie you in to a murder that you don't have nothing to do with. But that don't really make no sense. But kind of, again, it might do, but he could have been a fan of Yo Gotti or something. So he just said that just to sound like Memphis is such a bad place and they always get murders and they always uh, prosecute the wrong guy. You know what I'm saying? But whatever the real story is, you know, there's more videos coming out. You know what I'm saying? More evidence coming out. More people talking from the gas station. You know what I'm saying? And people talking about Black Yelster and his white beers and CEO Bobby and all these people that were linked to the uh, white beers and, you know, CMG. But I did hear somebody did get shot early this morning. And you know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be a close affiliate to CMG. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he was just one of the cats that they left behind, that they didn't have no money or something, that was still in the streets entertaining this beef. But I heard it went down in a major way. But the police still is on the scene over there, so... I'm going to be keep checking in, let y'all know who they say it is. But, yeah, this Young Dolph stuff won't never end because it's long live Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Gucci Man, he got a project coming. All the royalties going to Young Dolph family. You know what I'm saying? Yo Gotti just said that he dropping that CM10 and he telling people who all he going to have on the album, trying to get a buzz around it. You know, he done went and got Kodak. But really, it's probably some old music from him and Kodak. Because Gotti ain't dropped none in a long time. And I know he just been putting songs in the vault. So I guess he finna go in the vault and try to scrape up an album because he, he ain't got no new music. So all his music is all in the vault. He just gonna open up verses and let people jump on 16s, man, because... All the music outdated, you know what I'm saying? But CMG, you know what I'm saying? They trying to stay afloat right now. PRE, the most underdogs of the two, they on the rise, man. Because that boy Key Glock dropped a nice little record. And it's, you know, getting a lot of buzz in Atlanta and uh, Arkansas. But... Man, long live Dolph, man. Anybody hate no Dolph, y'all know what y'all can do. We got a lot of uh, people down in the city, a lot of news cameras and all these people like journalists and stuff out there doing stories, writing up on stuff, and there's a million stories being told. You know what I'm saying? Gas station man telling the story. The motel man telling the story. Employees from the uh, Family Dollars telling the story. It's all these different random stories, man. Who know the truth? You know what I'm saying? All we know, we got the call sound on Orange Mile. 
uh, three dudes with sweatpants came through and killed them. Young Dolph, two of them was uh, holding semi-automatic weapons. One was a driver. You know what I'm saying? They had a uh, Bass Pro hat on. You know what I'm saying? They saying straight drop and Kanye Smith was involved. Straight drop being the most popular of the two because he had a video and his video was going up on Instagram and then he took it down and a whole bunch of stuff was going on. We don't know who shot the video. Whoever shot the video, he must have knew that them boys had did something because he took the video down, whoever channel it was on. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of creep stuff going on in the city of Memphis, but all we know is we're going to keep banging Young Dolph music and letting them streams build up so he'll be rich for his family to have something to keep the bills and the lights and stuff on in the house, man, even though we know uh, mm -hmm. Young Dolph put his family away good, he ain't going to leave his lady, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with no financial uh, problems and stuff like some of these rappers when they die it ain't no money Young Dolph had plenty of money you know what I'm saying he had plenty of jewelry cars and everything so yeah Young Dolph wasn't no stupid hustler no stupid investor he had all type of property he was a big fish and the cats that did it to him they can't even get out of jail right now they can't even post a bond but Word is, you know, these dudes linked to a whole bunch of other homicides, but you know what I'm saying? It ain't never been no evidence, just all chitter chatter. But I guess the police are gonna try to pin them to something. You know what I'm saying? Get them on this dog case. They're gonna put straight drop in jail. They're gonna hold them for some other charges. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna keep them in jail about 15 years at the most. But I don't see them getting no 25, 30 years because other rappers done died and they let the killers just walk away. And, you know, the police know what they're doing because it's black-on-black -black crime and gang-related and stuff. And really, by law, they can't even get involved in it. You know what I'm saying? When they uh do it like that, when they say oh, it was gang-related and stuff, they ain't going to do nothing about it, but people talking, so they want to try to see if they can solve it. But there's so many creep people. This crime, this murder, uh, digging up a lot of uh, dirt on police officers, crooked store people, investors, everything, man. Just a whole can of worms. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace of mind.